Hey guys, we are here to explain some Italian rules. I've been with the team for two years and I've definitely broken some of them. Ah, this I know. I like food. So, let me explain a little bit about Italian food separation. There is a basic rule. In Italy, you eat a lot. So, I don't know how much space they have in their stomach that they can fill uh, antipasto, first plate, which is big, and the second plate, which is even bigger, and then have a coffee at the end of it, of, of it all, and maybe a dessert. So, no idea how you guys doing that. My dad eats it a lot. <laughs> it's amazing. You just can't not love it. Uh, Daniel Kindamo is a bad person when he eats uh, ketchup uh, and pasta. Not overcooked because then it's too soft, you know. So it has to be a little bit of, you know, the bite. It should always be al dente. It shouldn't be overcooked or undercooked. So it should be always perfect. No, mi piace al dente. Mangiabile. No cream, zero cream in carbonara. When I came to Italy, I was cutting this spaghetti and everyone was looking at me like, what are you doing? I think that's the most offensive thing you can do, probably. How do you make pasta? That's a good question. Water and then oil and then the pasta, I think. Scola pasta. So you just have to pay attention with the scola pasta because it would be a shame to miss some pasta. All the Italian people were, oh no, you put oil into water. <laughs> no, va bene. I don't know why I'm doing this actually. Pizza with ananas. Ananas is a fruit. You can put uh, ananas on pizza. It's just, uh, you're a killer if you do that. Uh, Yes, bread is an appetizer for Italian people. Bread is typical French. State scherzando. I feel like bread's not an appetizer. In Italy, there's always a piece of bread before the antipasta. No, I wouldn't really consider bread as an appetizer. You use it for the bruschetta, all right, but um, by itself, dry and interesting, no. I have a problem with the Italian bread, I have to be honest. Uh, it is very hard. You don't touch the bread? Yeah, you do. That, that's why it's so hard, or? Because <laughs> I always put it from table to table again and again and again. It's not nice to eat it, but then you have the best focaccia bread. Espresso coffee is one of the main staples of the Italian diet. Don't talk to a Italian until they've had two espressos, or they're not happy with you. Get out of my face! So I'm drinking coffee, coffee, but I really don't like it. I like to eat, uh, to drink coffee with a lot of sugar. When I first came over here, uh, I kept drinking it too late in the day and I couldn't understand why I wasn't sleeping so well. After, I think, 11 or after 12, it's only espressos. You can't have cappuccinos. I think cappuccino in the morning. Never cappuccino at lunch or something like that, uh, which Gabriele is not very good at. Oh, this is both. I mean, you can drink, in my opinion, you can drink cappuccino whenever you want. Spaghetti with meatballs, like, the, you know, the dogs, when they eat the spaghetti together. <laughs> That's what, what it gets into my mind. Spaghetti with meatballs is the most American thing I could ever think of. Because uh, in Italy, you know, it's done in a different way, you know, it's more special. It's, uh, it's really, really, really good. I will eat it any day of the week. I have never seen any Italian person eat meatballs in general, not even with pasta or without. Alfredo. Sauce. It's like white sauce, no? I think with like sausage, no. Yeah. Fettuccine Alfredo uh, is a uh, creation by Olive Garden, which is American. Not Italian at all, sorry. Alfredo sauce doesn't exist in Italy, as I've just discovered. Apparently it was made by the Americans, so... So, you know what a bidet is? Excuse me? <laughs> is it the thing that is uh, in my bathroom that I never use? <laughs> I have no experience of using it. It's the thing you have in the bathroom, where you wash your, uh, you wash your hands or feet or whatever. I, I don't know how to use it. I don't know what it is, it's just there. I still don't really understand the concept of a bidet. Well, it's close to Japanese style, it's just... 
<laughs> not two and one, it's one and one. Oh, a bidet! Maybe because they eat so much, they spend a lot more time in the bathroom. Ah, yeah, where you clean your... feet. I use it for something else. I use it to wash my feet. I think it's the, one of the most intelligent things. So next time I will, uh, I will definitely try the, the bidet, but I just want to call the architect of my, of my house because <laughs> it's not normal that the bidet is outside of the toilet uh, room. White socks with sandals does not work in Italy. It looks stupid and they don't like it. Well, that's a big no-no everywhere. Socks and sandals. It's not possible. It's not even possible for me to put the sandals. I'm American and that's American, no. No! That's a very German thing, yeah. What do you think about it? I guess you shouldn't use it in Italy. <laughs> you can use uh, sandals with socks, there is no problem, I think. Late. Oh, that's me. Un italiano vero. Being late is something I am accustomed to. We are never on time. It's incredible. Like, you, you'll probably say like, okay, at 12 we'll have lunch, and 12.30 no one's there yet. Well, uh, I mean, they like to take their time, I guess. But usually, I guess if you ask them to come on time, they will try to. Prema doesn't like that, but I feel like Italians tend to be a bit late. Most of the meetings my team does is in the morning and I'm the guy that loves to sleep so I will sleep until the end and uh, I need to take a shower you know put my stuff in together and all that so most of the time I'm I'm late most Italian rules are quite normal it turns out yeah that's that's my conclusion you're quite normal people <laughs>